Hello, hello, hello. Happy Thursday. Happy post 4th of July. Coming to you live, Julie Burke here, coming to you live from my office in Chicago. I'm going to give it a minute. Let Facebook go get you. Sometimes, let's see. All right. Hey, what's up? Good, good afternoon. I almost said good morning. Good afternoon. You guys, my kid slept till 10 o'clock today. Is that crazy? Like, serious? No, I'm sorry. They slept till 9.30. I had to wake them up for 10 o'clock camp. Nuts. What's up? Julie Burke coming to you live. Let me know if you could hear me okay. I'm here on my personal page and my fan page. You guys, sorry. Hold on. There is something up with this tripod. All right. Hello. I'll give it a minute. How was everyone's 4th of July? Let me know what you did. Did you have parties? Did you drink margaritas like me? What did you do? Let me know. Let me know. What's up, Monica? Hey, Sarah. Hi, Noah. That's all on my business page. Hello, hello, hello. I'm waving, I'm waving. All right. If you can hear me, just let me know. Give me a thumbs up, somebody. I'm going to talk to you today about the one thing that can literally be ruining your productivity. I need to edit that on my fan page. I uh, I put your Y O R U. Woo. Okay. Might still be drunk from the fourth. Um, what's up, Monica? How are you? So it's um I'm going to talk to you about this because I think it's like really important as business owners because I see it done all of the time. Okay. And 50% of the people out there are feeling overwhelmed or burned out. Okay. So if you've ever felt overwhelmed or burned out in your business, I need you to give me a thumbs up in the comment section and let me know because I'm going to share with you why that's happening. And I can honestly share with you why it's happening because um, I lived through it until I actually had to change what I was doing. Okay. So if you've ever, thank you for letting me know you can hear me. Well, I'm on my desktop. So I have my speaker here and then I'm on my phone. So anyways, all right, I'm getting the thumb, thumbs up here. So you guys have felt overwhelmed, burnt out. Let me ask you another question. Why? Why do you think that you felt overwhelmed or burned out in your business? Can you type, just type in the comments why you think, why, why this is. This is really, really important because I see it, see it all the time, guys. And it's not just the number of hours that we're working. Um, but also, right, way too many hours juggling too many things, okay? Do you guys hear that? It's spending way too many hours juggling different things. So do you ever find that you are hopping around on social media or hopping around from task to task? Do you ever feel that way? Yes, not focused or motivated enough. Claudia, let me ask you. I understand not focused, but why are you saying not motivated enough? Are you are you allowing like outside circumstances to get in the way? Are you saying you're not motivated enough because maybe it's summer and you want to go out and play? Let me know, Claudia, because I find that really interesting. I got lack of lack of a plan, Heather totally lack of a plan. And I'm going to talk about that. You're getting stuck. Karen, Ker hopefully I'm saying your name. Ker Corinne, 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 let me know what you're getting stuck with. Trying too many things and not having a system that fits me and my life. Maria, everything revolves around a system, girl. You got to get a system. Let me know what your business is. Maybe I can help you um, give you some tips on creating a system. Monica over on my fan page here because too many options and ping ponging back and forth. Yes. Monica, I hate to be real with you, but you allow yourself to ping pong back and forth, right? And I'm not just picking on you. Like we all do. We all ping pong back and forth. But 
I'm going to tell you right now, if you continue to allow that to happen, you will go nowhere in your business. Okay. I'm going to share with you a little story about, about me. So, um, what we, what we lose sometimes also is when we get so involved in our business and doing stuff, we don't have stopping points. We don't have finish lines. We don't have boundaries. Um, technology has literally blurred all of that beyond recognition. So sometimes, let me know if this is you. Can you be on your technology on your phone? Because now like a lot of us are building our businesses from our phone, right? And wherever we go, our work follows us, right? On our digital devices. Is it, is, and it's intrusive. It's literally, it, it can be, it's so, here's the cool thing about building our business online and whatever business you're in, whether you're doing network marketing, affiliate marketing, coaching, um, you know, I teach online marketing. That's what I do. I teach how to utilize social media to leverage your time. So of course I should say that if you're new to Julie Burke, I want you to put hashtag new into the comments so I can personally say hello to you and give you a shout out. But that's what I do. And sometimes I find that it, it, it can, even though it's awesome and amazing, it can sometimes also be a distraction, right? So how do we eliminate the distraction when it's constantly with us, okay? I'm not seeing enough growth, so, so getting unmotivated. Okay, well, that's looking at... Um, Corinne, like some of the things that you're doing of so not seeing enough growth. I would say the number one thing to look at there is consistency. Are you consistent every single day? Okay, within your business. So to tell the truth, um I reached major burnout. Okay, so this is what happened with me. I there came a point where I am I'm a creative, and so I create um courses, programs, I do coaching, I have a network marketing business, and I'm constantly having new ideas, okay? And so um, I am, am, I'm like in my office, and I will be thinking about, okay, what can I create next? Like I, I got in total like create, creator mode, creator mode, creator mode, and sometimes we can go into creator mode, or sometimes we can go into learning mode, and we don't implement enough or we don't take action on it. Okay. Does that make sense? And then what happens is you have so many thoughts stirring in your head that you can either crash or it could, your, your content switching, you're just switching different things. You're switching, you're like on a webinar and then you're listening to a podcast and then you're listening to a Facebook live and you're splitting your attention. Okay. So Productivity can go down. And if you guys see me, I'm, I'm looking at, trying to look at both of my screens here. Um, and what happens is that you're partially engaged. You're just partially engaged, right? And so you're switching. You're switching tasks. And it's okay to switch tasks, but what I'm going to share with you is that you better have a plan in action, okay? So do you have a plan? Do you have a daily plan to take action? And this is what I mean. What can be ruining your productivity is not planning and focusing on the most important thing that needs to be done that day. So I got caught in this trap where I would just not plan out my days. Like I would just wake up and I'd be like, okay, let me go look at emails. Let me go check my Facebook messages. Let me go post on social media. You know, and right there, those three things could literally probably eat two hours of my time. But am I getting anything done? And am I getting anything productive done in my business, right? And so I know from experience that I get two to three times as much stuff accomplished. So maybe for me, it's the one thing that day, writing a blog, okay, writing an email, um, maybe it's just doing a Facebook live. Like what? So I ask you, what is the most important thing you have to get done that day? And that's where the focus should be. 
So when I made this shift and I started setting up boundaries my, for, for myself, you guys, my own boundaries, that's when things started to change because I hit the wall. I hit burnout really bad. And I felt like I didn't want to do shit anymore. Like, I'm serious. I literally was just like, I am so done. And I would feel guilty for not getting back to messages right away. I'd feel guilty for not posting on my social media channel for, you know, three times a day. Maybe I only did the one time a day. But you know what? It's okay. It didn't matter. It's one day. Maybe it's because I had to get one of my programs on. Or maybe it's because I, I booked uh, three coaching clients that day and then I had to go pick up my kids. It's okay. So what I'm trying to tell you is be okay with it. But be consistent and focus on the one main thing you have to get done. The most important thing should be the one main thing. So setting up boundaries for yourself, allowing yourself to take a break between switching your um, switching in between projects. Okay, so maybe you're in network marketing and you allow yourself um, 30 minutes of social media time. Okay, so do your 30 minutes and literally take a break. Then you come back and you say, okay, now I want to create a Facebook Live. So then you want to do your Facebook Live. Okay, then take a break and then come back. So pick, I don't do any more than three things a day. Okay, because I find if I go beyond three, I'm completely overwhelmed in my day. And I don't want to be completely overwhelmed in my day. Okay, and I don't want you to be either. So pick three top things you have to get done a day, but focus on one at a time and take breaks in between. I used to go hard. Like I'm talking seven, eight hours straight, hard working. Um, have you guys ever done that? Do you allow yourself to take breaks? Let me hear from you. Let me know. Do you take breaks or do you just like sometimes just lose your train, train you just lose time and you just constantly are in your business? So I'm going to give you a couple tips uh, just real quick about setting up your own boundaries. Number one, you want to create your list the night before. So every night before I go to bed, I create my list of what I have to do the next day. What I do is list the top three things I have to get done, and I list the number one thing that I have to do that morning. So here, I'm talking like I schedule in my workouts. I schedule in my workouts. I schedule in my kid time. And then to be with the kids and, and family time and everything around that, what I have available is how I book my, my business. That is when I set up my coaching calls. That is when I set up um, me to respond to messages for my network marketing business inside a messenger. So I schedule my time. Maybe it's me writing my blog or creating a Facebook Live that then I turn into my blog. So whatever it is for you. Now, if I'm working on... Um, a new funnel or a lead magnet for my online business, then you better believe that's the number one thing because I got to get that, I got to get it up and running. So I recently did this. I recently, um, I'm creating, I'm in the middle of creating two new funnels. I am like scrapping everything and I created two new ones. I created one for uh, a, a branding funnel for female entrepreneurs and one for network marketers. Okay. They're awesome. Like I, and guess what? I had to slow down. I had to slow down and back up and really realize, okay, this is the number one thing I'm working on and everything else could fall by the wayside. Obviously, besides my coaching clients, I have to do my coaching client calls and I love them. But everything else I couldn't really worry about for a couple days. And so that was my main focus, right? I created one thing at a time. I created my video for the funnel. I created my training for the funnel, like all this stuff, right? And I did it one at a time. Now, before the old Julie would have been like, ah, oh, I have to slam all of this in in one day. You guys, that's a lot to slam in in one day. So I chunked it out into, I planned it out in, inside of three days, okay? And guess what? I felt like I could breathe. I, I spent time with my children. Because see, I'm sharing this with you because I know how it is. I know that half of the people out there that own a home-based business are overwhelmed. And they're overwhelming themselves. And then it's burnout. And then they stop working. Okay? So number one was creating the list and planning out, okay, I'm going to build out this funnel. I need three. I'm going to do this 
on day one, this on day two, and this on day three, okay? I hope that helps. Number two, do the most important thing first thing in the morning, preferably without interruptions. You guys, I turn off my phone. Turn off my phone for 60 to 90 minutes. You get it done. You have a clear mind, and then you have to stop. Okay, so I'll have an alarm there, and it actually will say, I turn off my phone, but I have to have a separate alarm. So it stops me 60 to 90 minutes in, so I don't get burned out, right? And also turning off, like getting out of Facebook if you're on your desktop. I'm not in any of my social media stuff. I have to be completely out if I'm working on something. All right, so do the most important thing first thing in the morning, and then if you get to task number two and task number three, cool. If not, don't beat yourself up, okay? Three, establish um, regular scheduled times that you can take yourself out of your home-based office to think strategically and creatively because oftentimes we are, you know, I'm in these four walls, right? So I might take a break and go sit outside for a while so I can get renewed ideas or I'll go for a walk with my dog because that's where I do most of my thinking, or I will go work out, all right? So take breaks, um, go and then also take regular um, mini vacations. You guys, honestly, that is something that is super important as well. Whether you wanna do um, 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 like a mini treatment where you go and you get a massage, or you go and get a pedicure, or you go take a weekend away. This weekend, we're going away with the kids and my husband. We're going to the lake, and I'm super excited about it because I'll be refreshed and renewed, and I'll be able to get back and become stronger than ever next week. So those are just a couple of my tips that I have been implementing into my life, into my business, and I will tell you, I get so much more done. So I love lists because I just love the feeling of crossing things off or checking it off and knowing that it's done. Um, so creating that list the night before will keep you on point. Picking the very first number one thing. Maybe it's just doing five new reach outs a day in your business. If that's it, awesome. Do that first thing in the morning. You'll feel productive, right? You'll feel like you got something accomplished. Um, and then establishing a regular scheduled time to just kind of take a break away from your office. And so you can go into a more creative environment. Maybe that for you is going to sit at a Starbucks, okay? And like just writing out your plan of action for the month. Um, and then taking more extended like little mini regular vacations or even just going to the water park with your kids. Taking a day off every now and then or going to pamper yourself can just really rejuvenate yourself. So you don't hit that burnout, okay? I don't like hearing words like struggling, burnout, unmotivated, feeling overwhelmed because what happens is if you consistently stay in that environment and you consistently think that, that that's what your business will become. And that's not what I want for you, okay? So splitting your focus, splitting your attention between tasks don't do it. I promise you, you will get so much more done if you just focus on the one thing. It will not ruin your productivity. It will actually up your productivity. All right, guys, listen, I hope you found that tip really helpful. If you did, please share it out um, because there's more people out there like us that feel that way. And if you found it of value, drop me a heart in the comment section as always. Um, I'm going to be starting my... Um, my brand master's academy and what it is i love it it's going to be something totally different you guys but half of it is going to be q a monthly with me because i get asked so many questions but the other part of it is going to be like done for you monthly marketing you guys like how cool is that um so it'll save you guys so much time i'm I'm a master of content. I love content. And this is where I found it trips up most of my students and most of my audience. So if you want to be part of the academy, I need you to put list in the comment section so you can get on the list. Um, I have 250 people so far on my list, and I've only announced it on three Facebook Lives. It is something I know I've been talking about for a while, and I took a whole month, pretty much the whole month of June off to travel, which um, I'm blessed to do. But um, 
I came back and I really started thinking, okay, how can I make this different? I mean, we're going to be talking branding. Yes, we're going to be talking social media, but I want to teach you marketing. I'm going to teach you sales. I'm going to teach you how to convert, how to convert your prospects to a client or a customer. Um, we're going to be talking about a lot. We're going to be talking about content creation. I'll probably do a content creation party. Um, so it's going to be fun. I'm going to be talking about leadership, a bunch of other really cool stuff cool stuff but what I feel most is how I can help you is by offering um, to help you guys save time in your business um, and to help you create a content plan um, because that's that's how you create everything that's how you create a brand that's how you create influence that's how you become that authority factor okay so if you want to get on the list, write list in the comments, you'll get grandfathered in at a special price. And I promise you that price will go up um, because I'm not only doing, giving you swipe stuff, done for you stuff, but you're also able to hop on with me twice a month. And I'll be bringing in some guest experts every now and then to teach you marketing and um, more other fun and cool things, okay? So um, you guys have an awesome day. Thanks for joining, and I'll talk to you all real soon. Have a good weekend. I'm headed out to the lake. Have a fun weekend, and drink some margaritas, as always. Mwah. Bye.